Hi folks, Miss Margaret here. So in this um, last part, part three of our how to write an 11 sentence literary analysis essay, um, we are going to talk about the final product, okay? So what was covered in parts one and two? We talked about how to fill out the first part of the packet. We talked about thesis statements. We went over how to fill out the outline or the pre-write organizer, um, which we talked about analysis there. And then we talked about draft two. Oh my goodness, we talked about so many things. A plot summary and editing checklist. Okay. So, wow, we talked about a lot of things in parts one and two. That is probably why those videos are so long. In this part, what we're going to cover today, final draft, submitting, and really just resources. So here is what a final um, essay might look like. Okay, so I've uh, edited my essay on draft number two, and then I went ahead and typed all of that into a Word document. Please make sure that you have an MLA heading up at the top, that you have a title here before you start your actual essay. Um, and your essay, you guys, I am fine with you just keeping it all as one text. We don't exactly have paragraphs, so please just keep it as one text. Um, a couple of things that I noticed with students' essays, make sure that your, uh, your title is italicized. When you type out titles, you italicize them rather than underline. Um, also make sure that your citations are correct. So you're just going to put Hinton 67, the last name 67, no comma. It should be in parentheses and your period comes after the citation. And then a couple other things like making sure you're in Times New Roman font, you are double spacing, you're in 12 point font, things like that, okay? If you want, you may choose to add a works cited page to the bottom, oops, uh, to the bottom slash the other side of your essay, okay? This is good practice for high school when you will need to do this um, every single time. So that's what the final might look like. Okay, if you have forgotten anything that I just said, you're not going to remember about all of those specifics. What you can do is go to the Schoology page, okay, my Schoology page, click on Student Resources for English, and I've got a MLA heading and format example document here. So it tells you how to do the heading. Um, and really, if you want, you can open that up and just start typing in that document, filling in your information, okay? Uh, the very last step you will also need to be on Schoology for, and that is submitting your essay. So if you're submitting the February Independent Reading Essay, which I for pretend am, I'm going to click on this assignment and I'm going to submit both my final essay and, oops, where is it? Okay, and this part. I want to submit all of the pages from my packet. And you can do this if you did it online, then you can submit it as a virtual document. Um, if you hand wrote it, then you can um, take photos of it and upload it to Schoology. Okay, it is up to you how you want to do that. But please, please, please include pictures or a copy of your packet when you submit your final essay. Okay, and you're just going to submit that on the assignment on Schoology. I'm not going to click on it because I think it looks differently for me than it does for you guys, but I, you should be able to figure it out pretty quick. And that's that. That is how we, ah, <laughs> that is how we're going to type up our final draft and how we're going to submit it. If you guys are stuck on anything, please use my Schoology page for resources. There is a whole folder called student resources for English. So that might be a good place for you to find the heading, the MLA heading and format examples, to find a checklist for um, editing. Uh, this is where I'm going to upload all of these videos. Um, you may also click on semester two, click on the literary analysis unit, 
And in here, I've got at least a dozen, okay, maybe not a dozen, but I've got a, quite a few examples of these essays. So if you want to read through more examples, I've got three outsiders examples under this link. Um, and these are animal farm examples of the essay that are meeting, approaching, or exceeding standard of peace. Um, and a couple of links that could help you with lead-ins and how to identify themes and things like that. So please use the resources that are available to you. Okay, so that is everything. I hope that this video series was helpful to you guys. Uh, let me know if you've got questions. Thanks.